Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abigail if you're new to my channel. If not, welcome back. Today, I have a very interesting video. Um, the last time I did a what's in my bag challenge was probably three years ago. Um, Today is a little bit different because this is my makeup bag. This is a makeup bag my mom got me from Victoria's Secret. It's very cute. Um, it's very heavy, it has a lot of stuff in it, and I really love it because it protects all your makeup and a lot fits in this bag. Um, I got this back in January when I went on a trip to LA. I haven't unpacked it because it's very useful for me. I'm always constantly on the go and I just take this with me. It's very, very cute. It has a handle that you can just put around your arm and you're at the house and then you can do your makeup in the car or on the go and it's very very good if you want to see what's inside this makeup bag then just keep watching and let's get started okay. so the bag opens up like this it has a zipper when you unzip it you oh my god this is so full of powder it's very dirty I'm sorry you have two sides and you have this little thing that you can just hang like at a hotel room or in your behind your door and you can just see everything that you have in here very 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 good i love it and i love that it's plastic so you can easily wipe off as well for people that get dirty like me um yeah, so let's see what we have here. Um, I packed this makeup palette by Morphe. It is all these neutral palettes, all these neutral palettes, all these neutral colors because, you know, who doesn't like neutrals? You can do anything with it really easy on the go. Um, I also have on this side all my brushes, face brushes, all over the powder brush, um, little eyeliner brushes. Ooh, my Max Strobe Cream. I really love this cream for when I don't want to do any makeup. When I don't want to do any makeup. When I don't want to put on any makeup, I just put this cream and you have this really nice glow, natural glow to your face. Um, I also have this Too Faced powder. I really love this powder because when I don't have anything else, I'll just put this powder and blush. It comes together, so very, very um, friendly. doesn't take up that much space. It is skinny, and it is by Too Faced, and very pretty. I also have my Mary Luminizer by The Balm. This is one of my favorite highlighters. It's what I have on today. I really love it. Um, I also have my Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Also by Too Faced, as you know, I love Too Faced bronzers. It smells like chocolate. I feel like eating it. Uh, I have a Lorac Perfection Oil Free Mattifying Face Primer. I don't really use this often. I don't know why it's even in there. Um, I like this other primer that I'm going to show you. This is matte and my face has been very dry recently. So i trying to stay away from matte. I have another all over, you know, face brush. Like when I want to like clean my contour, this is the brush to go to. I don't know where it's from, but it's really cool. Um... I have a metallic dancing crush eyeshadow by Kat Von D. It is purple. It's what I have on my under eyes. Really good. Gimme Brow Benefit little eyebrow um, brush thing that you can just put when you don't want to put any eyebrows. You just put a little bit of tint and it's really, really good. Um, I don't want to make this video super long. So I'm just going to show you. These are all my brushes that I have here. My um, blush brush by Morphe E4. Really, really good. An all-over blending brush and a pat-on brush is all you need, basically. That's all my to-go brushes that I have. In this bag, I also have my Morphe Setting Mist Spray. I really love this because it's so, like, the aerosol on this is so light. You can't even feel it. And it doesn't feel so heavy on your face. I have my Makeup Forever HD Ultra Foundation Stick um, in the shade 123 equals Y365. I don't know. They have it really weird. I love this, love this, love this makeup um, foundation. It's oil-based, so it makes me not so matte. Like I said, I'm having a very bad problem with matte foundations. 
Um, Laura Mercier is my translucent powder. I'll put this under my eyes when I put concealer on to make sure it doesn't crease. And then I, after that, I put this all over my face. It is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Finish Airbrush Powder. I'll put this on with my um, beauty sponge. I forgot what this is called, but this is not a beauty blender. It looks like a beauty blender. It's very dirty. I'm sorry I used it this morning. Um, but this is from Morphe. I really like how it has a flat side here and a pointy side here. So you can go like under your eyes and you can contour with it as well. Oh, I really, really, really love this powder. I wasn't sure if I should buy it because like I said, I'm very matte right now. So powders are not my friend, but it's a Lancome powder and absolute powder ultra luminous. Um, it's a smoothing primer, not smoothing primer, smoothing powder, which will make your face very glowy. I'll put this lastly after I do everything on my face to just give me an inner glow. Jaclyn Hill recommended it and I really, really love it so far. I have more brushes to wipe off powder to go really like detail underneath my eyes. I have a blush and currently in my bag, I have this Mariah Carey blush that she came up with with MAC. Um, mascara, I'm using Too Faced Size Queen Mascara. This brush is very big, but it's the only thing I had. Works, does the job, takes the powder off of your eyelashes. NYX, my absolute favorite eyeliner. If I'm gonna wear an eyeliner, it has to be either NYX or the blackest black which is this one, which is the Maybelline Eye Studio. Depending on what kind of look I want to do, if I want to do a very smoky black eye, I will use this. Um, if I just wanted an eyeliner, I'll use this liquid eyeliner. My Tarte Shape Tape is the concealer. I am running really, really low on it. I'm really sad I have to get it. It's in the shade Light Neutral, the best concealer ever. You can wear it alone and it won't crease in your eyes and it's absolutely my favorite. Um, I am using Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade for my eyebrows in the shade Chocolate and I'll use it with just a regular eyebrow brush that I have there and my Spoolie by Anastasia is really, really good. I really love the Brow Wiz but I ran out so I'm just using the Spoolie to brush off my brush. Um, ooh, I have another mascara which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and um, Another metallic shade. This is a very green shade. Love it. Let me show you what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it, but it's orangey, yellowish, greenish. I have this on the inner corner of my eyes today. And ooh, so in this part of the bag, I have more mascaras. Um, this is just a CoverGirl mascara. Um, I have a Kylie red lipstick, matte lipstick. And my eye primer by Lorac. And, oh, this is the primer that I love for my face right now. It is the Mirabella Prime. Hi, Mom. I'm filming. This is the Mirabella Prime. And, oh, let me show you my absolutely favorite under eye brush to blend is the Morphe E18 brush. <laughs> And that's basically all I have in my makeup bag. Um, it a lot fits in here, like a lot. Whoa, a lot fits in here. I love it because you can take it on the go, you can take it everywhere, and it's very easy to clean, like if you get powder on it. Um, I love it. Um, thank you so much for watching. This is on Victoria's Secret. Um, you can get it on the website or in store. I'm not really sure how much it ranges, the price on it. I got it as a gift from my mother. But um, I'll put the description link down below if you guys want to order it. Maybe they have some more. I don't know. You can go check it out. And I hope you really like this video. I love watching what people carry with them. Makeup bags, regular purse bag. And yeah. Please leave me in the comments down below what video you want to see next. 
I haven't been filming because I haven't really been inspired and I don't know what to film. So please let me know what you want to see next and I'll be happy to film it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.